Good morning. At this time, I ask that John Marshall Sr., Katie Cook, come to the podium and lead us in the national anthem on the direction of Mr. John Soderberg and the John Marshall Orchestra.
Thank you, Katie. That was amazing. Graduates may be seated. Hello, and welcome to John Marshall High School, home of the Rockets and home to the 63rd graduating class of JM. My name is Eric Johnson, and I am privileged to serve as the principal of John Marshall. Family, friends, faculty, graduates. I am really, really, really glad you're here to join us today. And I'm more than a little grateful and frankly quite relieved that we can have an in-person graduation once again. Not so very long ago, I wasn't sure you'd be able to do this. I'll be honest with you, planning a graduation this past year has been a moving target and the rules we've been required to follow have changed a bunch of times. I know that for our graduates and for our guests, it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride, but we are here. We're doing this, and I couldn't be happier to see each and every one of you here today. <laughs> our John Marshall grads absolutely deserve an incredible celebration today. At this time, I ask that you silence all cell phones and any other electronic devices, and again, I welcome and thank you for being here. Graduates, class of 2021, before we proceed with our ceremony today, I'd like to share a few of my own thoughts. First of all, I'd like to thank you. I know the past year and a half wasn't what you or any of us expected. I read somewhere that the past year was sort of like trying to cross the street, looking carefully both ways for cars, and then getting hit on over by an airplane. I think it's safe to say it hasn't been what any of us expected, and it certainly hasn't been easy. But through it all, you've stayed positive, you've remained determined, and each of you has found your success as a student. You have shown the world what it means to embody rocket pride. So thank you. When I started at JM, you guys were sophomores. I've been a middle school principal for a really long time, so becoming a high school principal was a new thing for me. And there were a few things I had to get used to. The first thing that took some getting used to, my first homecoming dance. And how high school students dance. <laughs> Whew. You know, middle schoolers, they mostly just jump up and down at a dance. High school, that's a whole nother thing. But we worked on it and it got better and we got through it. Then there was J.M. Gibbs. The chaos, the paranoia, the Oreo balls. The collective generosity and goodwill of an entire school community of 1,800 students and staff coming together for the common good. Absolutely incredible. And a shining example of what it means to be part of the Rocket family. But perhaps the biggest adjustment for me was graduation day. No one told me how being principal of a high school is so cool on graduation day. As educators, and many of your teachers are here today, everything we work for, everything we do, it all hits its big crescendo today. This is your day. You've made it. And for us, yeah. And to be just a part of it is an incredible honor. So thank you for allowing me to be part of your day. As some of you may know, I have a couple of sons who are about your age. One's a little older, one's a little younger. When they were very little, my wife and I would tuck them into bed each night. And I always told them the same three things every night. I love you. I'm proud of you, and I believe in you. I repeated this every night for years. I wanted them to hear it over and over so they knew it was true. I wanted them to hear it so much that someday, when I couldn't be there, they could always have that knowledge to fall back on, that no matter what obstacles lay before them, regardless of the challenge, 
I had their backs and that I love them, I'm proud of them, and I believe in them. Now, before you think this is going to get weird or I'm going to get overly sentimental, I want you to take a minute just to look around this gym. There are a lot of people here today. And honestly, there are a whole lot more people who really wanted to be here too. We really pushed the very limits of the state's guidance for high school graduations for regarding capacity limits for commencement ceremonies. And still, you know, most of you gladly would have taken at least six more guest tickets. Am I right? Yeah. But again, look at around who is here. These bleachers are full. This is your Rocket family. It's your family, it's your friends, it's your teachers. When you talk about a school community, this is exactly what we mean. The students, the staff, and everyone surrounding it. This is your Rocket family. And everyone who's here today, they're here for the same three reasons. They're here because they love you, they're proud of you, and they believe in you. So no matter what obstacles you may encounter, So no matter what obstacles you may encounter, what challenges there might be out there as you move forward, know these people have your backs. But hey, you've already proven that you can rise up through the toughest of life's challenges. You are the brave seniors who finished their high school careers during a pandemic. And you, yeah. And you know what? You came out on the other side, successful, stronger, determined as ever, and ready for a post-pandemic, post-high school world. And that world is out there waiting. Class of 2021, look around this gym. We love you, we're proud of you, and we believe in you. Congratulations, Rockets. Let's get you graduated. At this time, I'd like to turn your attention to the screen behind me for some introductory remarks from our student body president, Sierra Pieper, and student body vice president, Esme Decker, followed by a message from Superintendent Mike Munoz. Hello, everyone. My name is Sierra Pieper, John Marshall's student body president. I'd like to start off today by congratulating John Marshall's senior class of 2021. We did it, Rockets. And my name is Esme Decker, student body vice president. Parents, administration, friends, family, thank you for being here today and for your continuous support for this group of seniors. However, this message is for them. If anything should count as a test of our Rocket family's courage, strength, and resilience, it would have been this past year. Our Rocket family suffered loss, hardship, and defeat over and over again. However, it was in those moments that we rose together to help one another, to provide meals, clothes, and sometimes even virtual company to those who needed it. And it was our very own senior class who led these movements. We showed up sometimes through a screen to practices, concerts, classes, and events with smiles on our faces, ready to support and guide those around us. I am proud to be part of this Rocket family, but more importantly, I am honored to be part of the 2021 graduating senior class. We are Rockets and we are making it happen. How many times in the past four years have we all said, I can't wait to be done and out of here? Too many to count, right? But here we are. We did it. But what comes next? For some, the next step is clear. Where life leads you next, whether that is a college at a university, military, tech school, or maybe going straight into finding a job. But for others, that decision of where to go or what to do may not be so clear. I do hope that where each of us end up is a place where positive skills can be used for good. I hope kindness and personality can continue to flourish outside of our John Marshall family. Part of growing up means gaining experiences. These experiences help shape who we are. John Marshall is the diverse, welcoming home that provides a place for students to experience things they may never have before. From a diverse range of clubs and activities to being able to discuss different viewpoints in classes, I have truly learned more here than I have ever been able to hope to achieve. Surrounded by scholars, athletes, and musicians alike, there are amazing students graduating here with me today. 
Once a rocket, always a rocket, they say, right? I cannot wait to see what our future holds. Surely we will go on to accomplish amazing feats, changing the world for better as we go. My message to you now, as a former rocket, is to continue to live your lives as vivaciously and full as possible, and to continue to reach for the stars as you go. Family runs deep. Our rocket family runs deep. It might seem unusual as we are sitting side by side with friends and teachers we've known for the past four years or longer to believe that some might drift away throughout the years and connections may seem lost. But I'm standing up here today to remind and encourage you all that this rocket family is unlike any other and will always be a supportive system. Memories aren't ended, connections aren't lost. Rocket roots continue, deep and enduring. Seniors, congrats, celebrate, so proud of you, stay in touch. Rock it together, rock it strong. Today is a special day as we recognize our 2021 graduates. It's extra special for me since this is my last graduating class as superintendent at Rochester Public Schools. Graduates, it truly has been a challenging year for you due to the pandemic. Distance learning worked well for some and not so well for others. But throughout this school year, you demonstrated resiliency. The dictionary defines resilient as a person able to withstand or recover quickly from difficult conditions. I think we can all agree that this year created difficult conditions for all of us. But you all have withstood the conditions and made it to here today at graduation. I'd like to share with you a poem that was written by Amy Ike, who is a colleague of mine, entitled Milestone. After miles traveled and stones thrown, some said you couldn't, wouldn't, shouldn't. But you rose and pushed across the road and bridge and up the mountainside toward dreams that lie beyond. You worked and learned and worked and learned and laughed and cried with fellow learners and teacher friends who cared whether you reached the top. And here you are at the peak, arms up and shouting, I did it. You did it. You reached to the top. Stop now and look back at all you did. Pause and ponder before you turn to see what is next. We know what might be out there, more mountains, but easier to scale now that you know the path and tools. But first there is the downhill ride, a rest from the work, building momentum for your next success. Take a breath, touch the clouds, and enjoy the ride. I wish all of you good luck as you move to your next success. Thank you for everything you've done for our district and our community, and congratulations, Rochester Public Schools graduates of 2021. This morning, we have three student speakers with us. Our first student speaker at this time is Maimuna Adden. Uh, hello, Salwe, Assalamu Alaikum. Principal Johnson, faculty, parents, siblings, guests, and my illustrious classmates of the class of 2021. My name is Mimuna Abdisalan Adan, and as the American daughter of immigrants, it is with great pride that I have the chance to speak to you. Today, I call on my classmates to carry on the leadership we've accumulated over the past four years. As the late President Kennedy once said, if not us, who? If not now, when? This quote may be small, but it provides a huge significance for us all. As rockets, when faced with national issues such as climate change, gun control, and most importantly, civil rights and women's rights, we stepped up and decided to take charge. Not because we needed to do it, but because we chose to. We understood that our steps were made to be rules. We created our future when we expressed our distaste for normalcy. And it was then we realized that our lives are changing for the better. Our persistence and sheer determination for equality never faded when faced with a deadly pandemic. 
It is within this crucible that we have become rockets. And I advise my peers to utilize this ability to enact change. Our words are powerful and can be used to motivate a new generation. It took a high schooler for us to finally realize the extent of climate change. It took a high schooler sharing her story to try to combat school shootings. It took a high schooler to tape a man dying with a knee on his neck for the world to finally see what has been the truth all along, that black lives matter. And just this week, it took another high schooler to speak out against a dangerous bill set against women in Texas. I hear you, and I'm proud of you, Paxton. For one cannot become a leader without facing tragedy. It is only when we are faced with this that change starts to evolve. This unique character and time of ours has allowed us to transform the course of reckoning and become the natural leaders we read about today. In the midst of homework and club activities, we found ourselves standing up to injustice. We executed our First Amendment rights and voluntarily held protests to control national affairs. I am here to say we are the transformation generation. Our actions and voices are vastly improving these issues and allowing others to recognize the power we wield. And although we might be criticized, we still find a way to make our mark known. The audacity of our actions, the audacity of us to have hope. We knew as students that we had to make an impact that has a repercussion on future rockets and our community. And that we did. So I ask again for my peers to never forget the growth we experienced these four years and to carry on this passage of guidance. I leave you with this. Our willpower is inevitable. Our intentions are becoming revealed. Oh, how hopeful is the power we wield. Thank you. Thank you, Maymuna. Our next student speaker will be Ms. Zuri Kofer. Gotta move this up a little bit. <laughs> Good morning, JM teachers. Alumni, administrators, friends and family, and of course, the class of 2021. <laughs> I have heard my fair share of graduation speeches, so I will spare you the high school musical references, although we literally are all in this together. I'm sorry. <laughs> When I first came to John Marshall, I was under the impression that high school would be the best four years of my life. And although I, like many of you, did enjoy my time here, or our time here, the true best years of our lives are yet to come. John Marshall has taught us a variety of lessons. Lessons that I am sure many of us will carry into the next chapter of our lives. But most importantly, Y equals MX plus B, and mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Yes, I will for sure use that later in life. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Bachman, and I am sorry, Stan. <laughs> as time progressed, I learned that I did not know as much as I thought I did about the living, breathing world around me. So, fellow classmates, I am encouraging you to explore and take risks. We are a class of survivors. Three-fourths of our senior year was spent behind a screen. But here we are today, thriving in person. We have attended protests, political debates to defend our freedoms. And it is such a pleasure and a privilege to find myself in a room with such robust potential. And I am surrounded by society's current and future champions because that we are in fact stronger together and we give ourselves less credit than we should. 
Whether you plan on college, a gap year, an internship, or to explore the options the world has to offer, do what gives you enthusiasm. In the words of my favorite, favorite calculus teacher on the planet, do what brings you joy, because true success is achieved when you've done what makes you happy. I know your ego, Mr. Johnson, through the roof right now. <laughs> so class of 2021, as we go our own separate ways, I challenge you to turn your potential success into kinetic success, to bring to yourselves the joy you deserve, and to give yourselves the time to decide who and what you want to be. So congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Zuri. At this time, I ask Sarah Strauss to come join us. Good morning, teachers, parents, alumni, and the class of 2021. Our short lives have been a part of many milestones. Let's take a look at our story through some of the biggest media headlines. We came into this world in the wake of September 11th and the ensuing war on terror, in a time in which Nokia ruled the telephone market and SpongeBob was the hottest new show. We embarked on our high school odyssey in the midst of the Russian election interference investigation, Adele's last tour, and the great American solar eclipse. We've seen an international reckoning of equal rights and the unveiling of a host of political and ethical quandaries. In this time, our high school career has been punctuated by homecoming dances, sports games, academic competitions, and band, orchestra, and choir concerts. It has been filled with Jam Gives fundraisers to Relay for Life and Christmas Anonymous, which throughout all four years amounts to over $160,000 raised. <laughs> Advanced classes, pop quizzes, reports, projects, homework of all sorts, and more Google Meets time than any of us wanted. <laughs> and of course, the most important, the rise of TikTok. <laughs> Throughout that time, we have been told that we are a JM family. Some of us have wholeheartedly embraced that notion. But others have been skeptical that a family of nearly 2,000 can be strong and still feel cohesive. But I believe that we are a JAM family. And just like a family, we argue, don't see things the same way, and will each forge our own path. Some of us may never look back. But like it or not, we are all connected forever by the shared experience of these past four years. So whether you were in person these last few weeks or distance learning or maybe a combination of both, whether you played a sport or were in a club, whether you were in band, choir, or orchestra, you have made an impact on JM. Our John Marshall High School legacy will be that of a class whose experience was inedibly colored by an international health crisis, social unrest, political upheaval, and all kinds of personal struggles. But despite all that, the days kept ticking by, and here we are. We've survived. We made it to graduation. Regardless of our grades, our successes, or failures this year, just making it to this day in one piece is enough to celebrate. So at the culmination of our shared time together, I ask that you reflect on all that JM has taught you, both in and out of the classroom. 
consider how much you've learned about yourself in these past four years and use that to go out there and make this world a better place. The JM family stands behind you as you forge your own path and together we'll create our own new milestones as we enact positive change in our world that becomes the headlines of tomorrow. The future is what you make it. The future is ours. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2021. How about another round of applause for all of our student speakers this morning? These are our rocket grads. Thank you. At this time, we ask that you stand as you are able as the John Marshall Orchestra performs the John Marshall School Hymn. Thank you. You may be seated. How about one more round of applause for our JM Orchestra? You know, the past year you've probably heard about a lot of different forms of instruction. Distance learning, in-person learning, hybrid instruction. Well, today we're going to do a hybrid presentation of the class. So at this time we're going to power up the screen. And it is my pleasure, as a principal of John Marshall High School, to present to you and our school board chair, Dr. Jean Marvin, who will be on the screen behind me in just a minute, the present members of the class of 2021. They have successfully met all requirements for the diplomas as set forth by the Minnesota Department of Education, as well as the Board of Education of the Rochester Public Schools. Please turn your attention to the screen behind me for the acceptance of the class virtually by Dr. Jean Marvin, board chair. Congratulations, seniors. JM has a long, proud history of graduates who are amazing people and go on to really make a difference. You are about to join their ranks because now it is my great honor on behalf of Rochester School Board to accept John Marshall High School's graduating class of 2021. Way to go, Rockets. At this time, I'm going to ask Mr. Steve Aiken, Assistant Principal and Registrar for John Marshall High School, to join me in awarding the diplomas. Aliyah Ali. <laughs> Maimuna Adden. <laughs> Abdi Rahim Ado. <laughs> Ms.
Majid Ahmed. Siham Ahmed Dor. Ali Alrida Al Rubai. Abigail Alcock. Nicole Alexandru. Abdullah Ali. Brock Anderson. Ebony Anderson. Isabella Andriyashevich. Carson Arthur. Nicholas Ashoff. Riley Atwood. Bienvenue Bagabo. Peyton Baker. Cordell Barnett. Austin Berry. Cheyenne Bertzinger. Jenna Baldwin. Sophia Burmeister. Miguel Campos Ramirez. Edward Carpanchanu. Raul Cardona Diaz. Sino Chantalangsi. Zachary Chu. Zuri Kofer. Catherine Cook. Emma Coyle. Andrew Curran. Peter Dahlen. Ethan Daniels. Kadia Dabij. Ronaldo De Jesus Aquino. Samuel Decker. Annalisa Dikbos. Taylor Druis. Annie Edwards. Joshua Eagle. Maya Engel. Lucas Fagan. Tony Fasimo. Danny Garcia. Chris Garcia Barrera. K. 
Kaylee Gedke. Lillian G. Sophie Geske. Colin Golden. John Gossman. Dylan Graff. Caitlin Graves. Randall Greenhill. Nathan Griffin. Quentin Guy. Blake Hack. Riley Hansen. Alexis Harvey. Devin Harvey. Elizabeth Homont. Nashantia Haywood. Solve Hendrickson. Logan Husingveld. Megan Rayback. Emma Hull. Samira Ibrahamo. Asmira Isaac. Benjamin Jacobs. Gabriel Jansen. Sarah Gillao. Michaela Jones. Zion Jones. Julia Katzenberger. Emma Keefe. Noah Kelly. Enoch Kim. Simon Kai. Simon Langat. Alyssa Lee.
Madison Lemke. Addison Liu. Caitlin Lundy. Morgan Mangason. KK Marshall. Deliana Maxwell. Max Marug. Maximus Marug, sorry. Jesse, sorry, Jesse Morales Hernandez. Pahua Mua. Nicholas Nemgar. Brendan Ness. Kirsten Ness. Reed Newman. Marcus Wynn. Gretchen Nigber. Cole Norby. Amir Mohammed Amrani. Ausman Ausman. Micah Patterson Laba. Gabriela Perez. Victor Perez Aviles. Ryan Perkins. Marilyn Peterson. Sheridan Poole. Gabriela Rivera Molina. Charisma Rob. Lucy Rubin. Nathafon Sanguin. Jackson Suresig. <laughs> Megan Scherer. <laughs> Jagger Shoppers. Mira Schrant. Peyton Sears.
Lewis Seifert. <laughs> Hannah Selig. <laughs> Nina Shabasteri. Aaron Shu. Eliza Smith. Forty Smith. Caden Stanslaski. Kayla Starr. Sarah Strauss. Andrew Stutz. Samantha Tao. Owen Thorpe. Emmanuel Vinzan. Jordan Vu. Devin Watson. Dana Wise. Caitlin Weiss. Nicholas Weist. Joseph Yang. Pishao Yang. Alexander Yuhas. All right, graduates, please rise. Members of the class of 2021, you may now move your tassel to the left side. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute privilege to present to you 
the graduated class of 2021 Rochester John Marshall. All right, graduates, remember this. Once a rocket, always a rocket. OK, graduates and guests, if you are not standing, please rise for the JM fight song. 